So in early spring this year, I took the camera equipment down to Hardcastle Crags near Hebden Bridge in West Yorkshire to get a few shots of spring. I love it when the earth starts to wake up from its winter slumber and everything is revived, fresh, anew, and bursting into life. Colour sharpens and buds and blossoms begin to paint hues on the landscape. Fresh greens drench the vista as shrubs, trees and other foliage start pushing out shoots and the skeletal forms of winter begin to disappear under a shroud of foliage. It's a botanical display of renewed life, bringing with it new hope and new beginnings. There is one plant that always amuses me, the humble beech tree. It is renowned for holding onto its leaves throughout winter. After the spring and summer season, its leaves turn from green to a golden orange colour and shrink and distort slightly as they lose their moisture. They only really start to shed their leaves when the new reddish brown bullet shaped leaf buds form in springtime and the last season's foliage falls to the earth just in time for the new buds to open. It was great fun to look for different compositions, shapes reflected in water, and finding some interest amongst the branches of these beautiful trees. The more I looked, the more I wanted to photograph. Such delicate beauty on display, and such sharp colour framed against a woody background. An ever active, meandering stream, Last year's pine cones clinging to branches. New mosses growing along branches. It was great to visit Hardcastle Crags during this transitional period. A mixture of colours of old and new. journeys of discovery. The smells that change as spring starts to take over. Huge funguses growing out of dead wood. Golden bullet shaped leaf buds of the beech tree waiting to burst into bloom. The sights and sounds of everything renewed. It's epic. It's absolutely epic.
trail finished off at this 19th century mill called Gibson Mill. It was a working mill, a water mill back in the day. It's been renovated and now it's a flagship for renewable energy sources. It has a beautiful mill pond on its north side that's fed by Hepton Beck. It makes some really great photos most times of the year. Thanks for watching, tune in again, hit subscribe and I'll catch you next time, bye for now.